Good morning. Good morning. Welcome me. Welcome you to the house of Ebon where all your dreams uh, come true. So I'm currently headed to work. Oh. Is that the radio? Sorry, guys. Forgot I had the radio on. Um, do you guys still listen to the radio? Or is it just me? Anyway, that's not why I'm here today. Um, so we're here together. Before we even get to that part, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I know it's shaky, but I still got to get a, another um, like phone. What's it called? Phone mount for my car. I'm going to get it for the vent. So. Until then, you're going to get these shaky videos, sis. Okay? And that's on period. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video, like this video, comment, and let me know what you think about the topic for today. All right, so today we're talking about, um, that car going way too slow. Um, I'm on a time crunch, honey. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the trade, okay? The trade, the girls, you know, the DAL, because you know why there's the prime i think he's the prime minister uh of hungary stockholm i don't know i know he's the prime minister over there in europe i believe it's the country hungary um but he was a part of the um reason why Think if I'm not correct, you know, check fact check me, you know, do your Google search, you know, check it on Instagram, do your Google search. But he's the prime minister of Hungary and he was part of the reason why uh, the LGBT community over there do not have their rights um, in their constitution. They changed it to where it's man and woman to get married so only a man and woman can get married over there i believe in that country based on them changing the constitution which is that I, it is literally i know we say this all the time but it's literally 2020 and it's almost 2021 and people are still acting like we are in medieval times with all this homophobia transphobia Queerphobia, if that isn't even a thing, um, but it it really baffles me. And what baff it don't ba it doesn't baffle me, but it does like <laughs> really the fact that he was caught the prime minister, the one remember the one responsible for changing the laws and being anti-gay, anti-LGBTQIAA, being all of that and hateful and taking people's rights away when they are not doing anything illegal, truly illegal, like killing, stealing, fraud, raping. They're not doing none of, the, none of the horrible stuff that people do. They're just trying to live their lives they see fit, peacefully. Just trying to love a person that they love. That's all they're trying to do. And yet, this man that is anti-gay and responsible with taking their rights away, he was caught. He was caught at a 25 person orgy. A gang bang, sis. A gang bang. Bang bang. 25 men that are on the DL and some of them were his colleagues. So you come to tell me that all of you anti-gay people in the government were at this orgy. Are you serious? Getting your broke broke out, sis. Your back broke out. Are you kidding me? Wow! Wow! 
The irony. The irony. Wow. Wow. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Wow. And then the put because they found out because it was a late night disturbance. So not only are you breaking, see, the uh, COVID guidelines that you probably helped put in place, you're breaking it by having 25 people in this apartment. Not only that, but you're supposed to be anti-gay and you're having a male orgy. Girl, get out my face. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Y'all kill me. It be them. It be the main ones. Them be the main ones. The one that are anti-gay, anti-lesbian, anti-LGBTQIAA, anti-queer, anti-everything, anti-trans. Them be the main ones doing this stuff. Participating in the same acts that they say they are against. Girl, stop playing with me. Get out of my face. Stop playing with me in my face. Like, that's what y'all need to stop playing with me in my face. Because I'm about to slap you. Girl. In the words of New York, I ain't gonna spit on them. I ain't gonna spit on them. But what I will do, because I will. <laughs> Girl. It's really irritating that y'all continue, you men. You continue to be scared and fearful of stepping into your own being. That you are willing to trample and stampede all over everybody else's rights. But in that same breath, be the same ones kicking it with the girls. Kicking it with the girls. Y'all... I always be kicking it with the girls, but yeah, and still got us in the back room while you out here pretending like you ain't nothing wrong with you. Ooh, and it's a dead animal in the street. Hurry up. I don't Oh my God, it's a dead deer and he's toe up. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. But like I was saying, like y'all be the main ones. It, and it kills me. I can be the main ones. Girl. So now, somebody, I think somebody had called because they were making a lot. It was 25 men. Of course, you hearing something, sis. In an apartment or a townhouse, you're hearing something. A flat, you're hearing something. Miss ma'am, miss mamas, you're hearing something, okay? And so somebody called for a disturbance. The police showed up. And they, I guess, arrested everybody. And then the prime minister wants to run away and was found, like, in a creek. Like, you know, those European countries, their flats, they near creeks. And so he ran in by the creek, butt naked, had his book bag. And the police found drugs in the book bag. And he told me something. Oh, I'm not using the drugs. I'm not using the drugs. Girl, bye. You got drugs in your book bag, but you ain't using them? <laughs> That's like me saying, I got water in my book bag, but I'm not drinking it. Girl, bro, shut up. Oh, these people kill me. They really do. And moving forward to men that are annoying and irritating that kill me. Um, I know all y'all have heard about the situation with the um something co a kitchen cocktails or something like that in Texas Dallas Texas I'm sure you all have heard about it and that man ranting saying how he built this restaurant for the culture and um he paid a lot of money for everything and he's doing it for the culture and how can he um, chastise the men to tell them to respect themselves if he can't tell the women to respect themselves and stop all the twerking but it's like, sir, ooh, excuse me, sir, there have been videos that have resurfaced showing men standing on, I don't know, counters, tables, whatever, whatever have you, and doing the same thing. They haven't been twerking, but they've been 
been um, being a little boy drunk and um, drunk. <laughs> and you know, that don't make no sense to me. It don't. It don't. It don't. It really doesn't. Because your statement sounds really misogynistic. It sounds really sexist. It sounds really, um, 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 like a tap dancing Negro. Like a, yes, a master. I don't twerk. I just bob my head and I'm a good black. Like, sis, at this point, respectability politics do not suffice. They do not. Per, respectability politics do not protect us from a racist person wanting us destroyed. Okay? Wanting our people destroyed, taking our rights away, and taking our needed resources away from our communities. Respectability politics do not work. If it worked, President Obama wouldn't have gotten so much hate. If it worked, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. wouldn't have gotten so much hate. And they nobody wouldn't have wanted to kill him. Like, use your brain. Somebody ain't doing the math right. If respectability politics worked, we would still not be having these conversations on why black communities need resources And deserve them. I mean, what? Mm. What planet are you all on? I really don't understand. Like, you're not going to come and tell me a person who's do who's doing the work in communities to help them, to help youth of color, that we're fine. You need to use the resources you have. Baby, we've been using the resources that we have for the past hundred years. And it's not working. Because you know why? You know, you want to know how money is filtered? Let's take a trip down memory lane. And let's go, let's have an educational piece right now. You want to know how money is filtered? How it gets to communities of color? The government has to give, count the state money, right? So, Georgia... The government gives Georgia money, right? Georgia designates which uh, categories monies go, monies go to. Police, education, um, parks, recreation, blah, 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 all that. Then the states give it to the counties. It's the county's responsibility to give it to lower local communities as far as the schools are considered. But if you have people, even even if they are black, if you got people in positions county-wise that do not care about, it's not even simple fact that they care. It's just the fact that they know that we need the resources, but they they're those are not the people that's put money in their pocket. That's the people that need the resources are not the ones putting money in these polit politicians' pocket. That's what y'all have to understand. Even if it is a black person. Them niggas don't care about us. That's why we need to send people from our community that are struggling, that are running for office, that know the struggle, that have been from the struggle, that are currently in the struggle, to put in office. Because trust, these people have peaked that if you put a black person in office, you'll vote for them. That's what they're banking on. They're banking on you voting for a black person just because they're black. And nothing else. No policies. Not because of their policies. Not because of the work they've done. Not because of the harm they've stopped. None of that. Just because they're black. You'll vote for them. All that respectability politics, that goes back to that. It's trash. And I want to say this, and that leads me to my next topic. I might do a video on the topic we just finished talking about in a minute. But 
President Obama, I love you. And I'm not trying to come down on you. But sist. Sistrin. I feel like, and I said this to my mom, I feel like Obama is stuck in his ways as when he was in, as a when he was a president, when he was trying to make everybody happy and comfortable. Like that's great. That's what you have to do as a president. But right now, you telling Black Lives Matter that they need to change the wording for defund police when it's a simple. It's so simple. The only way people can misconstrue that is if they truly don't want to know what it means or they just don't care. And that's mostly white people and some black people and some other color people. But that's not our target audience. Y'all have to remember who their target audience is. And it's these people that are politicians locally. Yes, you have to get people, um, citizen-wise, that because they vote on stuff. But at the end of the day, you can't force. We shouldn't have to continue to force to change our wording on stuff just to make other people comfortable. Like, when are y'all gonna get over that trying to make other, not other people, white people comfortable? Y'all love making white people comfortable. When are white people not comfortable? White people have been comfortable for hundreds of years. I'm tired of it. Y'all could go to H-E double hockey sticks for all I care. I'm tired of trying to make you white people comfortable. I'm done. I'm Black Lives Matter has already been under attack. You know, for Obama to say that, that does not help their plight. It does not help. The fact that a former president, a black president, says that, oh, Black Lives Matter, you should change your wording because you're not making the larger uh, group comfortable. I'm sure, like Adrian Expression on YouTube said, I'm sure slavery wasn't, um, abolished slavery wasn't popular. Of course it wasn't, sis. Nobody wanted to abolish slavery. That was their that was their money, bitch. Like, bitch. That was their money, honey. Nobody wanted to abolish slavery, but it happened. Nobody wants to abolish police, but it will happen. Hopefully not another hundred years. Cause I'll be dead by then. I would like to see the police abolished and for us to implement a com uh nationwide system where everybody has everything they need. That means most of you have to stop being greedy. Even if you don't stop being greedy, we need to stop ta uh, tailoring stuff to y'all will. Even if you don't stop being greedy, oh, okay, bye. And we're still going to get everything we need. It was this another woman. I'm going to tag her um, in the description, but she was on, I follow her on Instagram, and she was saying, why do people feel the need that if somebody becomes full, that you have to lose something? That was in regards to stepping into their being and uh, being their full self. But in the same sense, why do you feel that if black communities get everything they need, that you're going to lose something? Why? You already have everything! Y'all irritating. Y'all are irritating. I, 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 Y'all just greedy. I mean, you're like a pig who has, who, who's already eaten, but you just want more just because. You're being gluttonous, okay? Gluttony. Gluttony is disgusting. I hope you choke on your tongue at this point. Okay, girl? Anyway, that was the video. Make sure you, like I said before, make sure you subscribe, like this video, comment down below, let me know what you think of the topics that we discussed today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!